First off, I have to give a disclaimer. While this report is about the Boston Marathon bombing trial, this will not actually directly apply to the bombing itself, which is an entirely different story. Without the way, I can give my report. After weeks of testimony, jurors are set to deliberations Tuesday on trial of Zokar Sarnev, who, along with his brother, saw the explosives at the 2013 Boston Marathon. Sarnev faces life in prison or the death penalty. Closing arguments on the case were made by the, both the defense and the prosecution on Monday. The defendant brought terrorism into the backyards and main streets, Assistant U.S. Attorney Alok Shakriyavati said. The defendant thought his values were more important than the people around him. He wanted to fake the Mujahideen, the Holy Warriors, so he chose Patriot's Day, Marathon Monday, for a time for families to gather and watch the marathon. The survivors and family members of the victims weep, wiped away tears and offered comfort while Sarnia fidgeted at the defense table as he has done throughout the entire trial. Zilgard Sarnev chose a day when the eyes of the world would be on Boston. Shagrava, he says. He chose a day where there would be civilians on the sidewalks and he targeted the, those civilians, men, women, and children. He wanted to terrorize this country. He wanted to punish America for what it was doing to his people. The day of the bombings, they felt they were soldiers. They were the Muhadin, and they were bringing their battle to Boston. Sarnyev, 21 years old, stands accused of 30 counts, including setting off weapons at a mass, of mass destruction, a public event, and an act of terrorism. 17 of those counts carry a set life sentence or death penalty. If Zarnia was found guilty of at least one of the 17 capital counts, the trial will proceed to a second phase, the so-called penalty phase. That part of the trial will include evidence of aggravating and mitigating factors, and the jury will be asked to weigh elements that make this crime especially heinous against details from Sarnia's background and mental health history that would weigh in his favor. Since testimony began on March 4th, federal prosecutors have called 92 witnesses and the defense just four. The defense strategy of defense attorney Judy Clark had been to focus on persuading the jury to save Sharnev's life. This was a cold, intentional terrorist act, the prosecutor said. The brothers' acts that day were intended, he said, to make a point to tell America, we won't be terrorized by you anymore, we will terrorize you. I want you to weigh in here. Honestly, if the jury has to deliberate on the verdict for a long time, someone is absolutely nuts. The evidence is completely damning with video and photo footage. I said there could be, be doubt in the videos and the video, the photos and video, just showing that he was there. I know he'll be found guilty on a lot of the charges. As for what I feel the appropriate punishment would be, I'm going to be a little unpopular, but hear me out. I think he should get life sentences. Giving him the death penalty is literally what he wants. He wants to die a martyr. Do we want to get terrorists what they want? Is that the business of the United States? I know many of you disagree with my feeling, but I don't feel the death penalty would be punishment for Sarnyev. Life imprisonment would be. I do invite you all to believe what you want about this, whether my opinion has any value to you or not. This is my polar opposites, after all.